roll back with it. This is the thing that kind of took everybody by storm at the end of uh, CES. It's Peach. It's on the iPhone. What, what what do I do with this? So it's it's kind of a chat, and and I think what one of the things that it may have come up on one of the the Twit Network shows is because I've I've been hearing on a lot of their shows they're looking for what is the answer for cross platform chat. <clears throat> We've had the conversation, right? We're we're kind of going to Slack. They're having the conversation. You know, what do you tell your family and friends? Is it if if you're an iMessage user, that doesn't always go port to Android. If you leave the platform, it doesn't work well. So this is another, hey, here's a, <clears throat> um, oh, for some reason, somebody, I activated my, my assistant. Um, <laughs> but it, this, is, this is kind of another chat client. You can add your friends. The interesting thing is when you're, when you're typing a message, you can actually – start to type in keywords. So if you go in there, Sorg, and you type in um, here, just the word here, what? you'll see kind of down at the bottom, it starts to pre-fill a here colon add current location. You tap that and it pulls in, pulls that into where you're at. That I'm not seeing. So I, I clicked on you, and how do I? So go to go to your go to your chat window. Oh, this is me here. Okay. So go to you, and where it says write something, and there's the picture of the camera and, and the light bulb. Mm -hmm. And type here, and see how next to the camera it auto fills in like a. Oh yeah, here at the current location in the middle, and then I'll I'll hit that. It, it wants me to do locations. I'm going to allow it. So we're trying media home base. It even got it right. Uh, something that that that, that uh, Instagram hasn't been doing lately. So they they have a couple. They, I mean, they have they have a, a slew of cool ones. Like if you type in dice, it gives you a prompt to roll the dice, and it will give you a random dice roll. Oh, that's awesome! Six sided, two, two six sided dice. Um, if you want to share your battery percentage, if you want to rate something, um. You can give current weather events. Um, typing Safari will open the browser to search for a link. Um, date and time will add or spell out the current date or the current time. Um, there's there's a lot of cool features when it comes to that. You can type you can type in the GIF, um, and a search button will crop up and it'll allow you to search for a GIF. Um, so it, it's, it's kind of a, I am, I'm almost viewing it as it's like a, I'm going to, it's, it's like my timeline from Facebook. Yeah. It, but, but like super, like super interactive, I guess. Right. Yes. Um, yeah. Cause I, I love, so I'm pulling this up. It, it, I was, I'm kind of doing a couple of these while you're, well, I know you can't see the video on this thing. So I, I typed GIF, it, it pops up the prompt at the bomb. I, I type happy, I hit go. It shows me the first kind of random happy GIF. There's a guy clapping saying yay. And I can actually um, scroll through these. And is it everything? Or I hit post and I'll send whichever one I selected. So uh, that, that was a great one for me to select there. Uh, but uh, no, it's an interesting uh, integrative kind of inline typing tool, I guess. And you said this was the interesting thing. Uh, there's an idea thing, and I, uh, an idea light bulb. And I click on that and it says, you know, it gives you kind of ideas. It says, uh, uh, name an artist that you love. Uh, what's your favorite smell? Kind of conversation um, starters. Uh, what was the other one? What's cliche about you? And I can answer that. Uh, I'm a walking cliche of a uh, podcaster in his basement. Let's go. <laughs> All right. And we're going to post that. So there's an idea of like, even if you're not good at being social, it gives you an idea of what to be social about, I guess. So, um, but yeah. But I, I kind of like it from the aspect of I'm not going to get a unified timeline of all the people mm -hmm. I have to go pick the person I'm looking for. I can see what they've posted and then I can comment on their posts. 
Well, Alex is in the chat, and he's saying, uh, wow, it looks nifty. I'm going to download it on my Android right No, wait. Nope. This is the iPhone no, only. Won't. It's Oops. called Peach. It's in the top 10 of the App Store already, it looks like. Um, so, so yeah, I, I, I don't know. It, 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 and somebody was asking, what's that super secure version of Facebook that we saw before? And I think Ello was one of them. I think there was another one as well. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, this is, will it catch on? I don't know. Uh, so, here's, here's the, so, is this more one-on-one? Or, like, once I have more than just you, Chilla, what is my feed going to look like? Or do so I you're have... you're not gonna, and I guess that's the thing though. You're not gonna have a feed, right? Okay. You're gonna have a list of all your friends, you... and they're and in their bubble. So go back to your main window. Your your thing should be at the top. Then there should be a button: tell a friend, add a friend, right? And then yeah. all your friends show up down below that. So you're gonna see a list of all your friends. I'm guessing in chronological order of the last person to post, kind of like a timeline update. And then you're going to be able to go in there and see kind of their timeline and comment on their timeline. Okay. To me, going back to that point is to me, this is a, I can post whatever my thought is at this point in time. Um, or I can go find you and I can comment on, on kind of like your, your thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Well, we'll we'll see how this catches on. So here's the other thing, Katie, because I know you're the hacker of the yaks. Um, <laughs> what, what do you see? I mean, is this just going to be a social thing? One, how the hell do they make, they make money from something like this? Maybe they don't think about it this early on. But can do you see, like, what would you use this for on the business side? Uh, um, depends on... I guess on the the uh, audience that you have there. I mean, it depends on who's moving over there. I haven't quite seen this, the demographics, whether like an age group or a um, particular market. Well, um, well, it's been popular for like four days, so I, I, yeah, that's I, what I, mean. I, I think. The, I think the science like, are we skewing is still to millennials out. again? Are we skewing to adults? Are we skewing towards new parents? Which Facebook, you know, there's there's multiple things. But I think as far as like with any platform, is giving an, another exclusive channel to put different content. Like if you, like you want to reward your um, customers with different things on different channels. Cause if you post the same thing across the board, uh, you're not going to get much response. But if I reward, you know, if I know a certain group, like an age group, like Chilla's, you know, there's Chilla's on this page and Chilla loves tech. I would post things that he would be interested in is kind of a reward for following me. And then he would want to stick with me and see what I'm up to. Mm -hmm. So, so a very, a very Snapchat ish kind of thing. Like and, and, mm-hmm. and I have a problem wrapping my head around Snapchat still because I'm like, but, but it's just my friends. How do I reach out from there? You know, and, and this seems like it seems very similar to that. Well, from a Snapchat perspective, I mean, I see a lot of people on like uh, uh, Twitter and whatnot posting their actual Snapchat follow thing, mm-hmm. and also using it that follow thing as their kind of picture in a lot of cases Mm -hmm. so that's where i could see where you're saying you know how do i get my reach out there right i feel like that's kind of how you do that through snapchat you have to figure out also snapchat think of it almost like an instagram where you're just putting out visual content Mm -hmm. so it's not so much you're putting out like the like a setup scene but it could be like very quick very oh hey check this out like or look at this so you just kind of, I don't know, but it's an extension quick, of an Instagram, quick, I think, almost like, or yeah. at least the same idea. Quick check-ins, basically, right? Mm-hmm. 